Or I wonder what boy can possibly do to Al Gore to just destroy him further. Speaking of something like destroy, I mean, I, I've been hearing more than forcing us. I started a, a thorough investigation to find out who that mysterious lady in red was that took out Coco backstage right before, just, just right as we went on the air during the last match here. Obviously, whoever was responsible for all of us wanted to screw Coco of, of, of tonight. Wait, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, is it, oh, it's over right now. There, he took out the trash. The, took out that piece of trash out gold, that garbage disposal. It's over right now. Wait, Paulie, wait, he's picking up again? Oh my god, again? He's picked up the trash. Uh, oh my god, that's two garbage disposals. They, Oh, uh, one more time, oh, you go, oh, I bet you're loving this, folks. Three garbage disposals to Al Gore. That's all she wrote. Now when mine seen four, five, or six garbage disposals. Here's your winner. Two words, folks. Squash match. Now, any shadow of a doubt, that was the absolute definition of a squash match. If you was a squash match in a dictionary, you would see Al Gore can garbage disposal. So, Broly, as if we had any doubt, is going to advance and move on to compete in the Elimination Chamber later on tonight. And just for your own amusement, here's a replay of. Al Gore can take it out like a piece of trash. Whoosh. There's the, oh, wait a minute! Wait, what the hell? I guess Gore's not done yet! And this gets that still steps on those power bombs out Gore! My god! Oh, okay, here's another garbage disposal. Whoosh. Whoosh. Send him like a piece of trash that he is. Wait, 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 what? Now he levels him with a steel step to the face. And Al Gore's not gonna walk again after this match, I promise you that. Broly making a statement saying that he was a, that not only not only did he take out the proverbial trash, they're sending a message to Samoa Joe and all the men who's in the tournament to be no one can turn do or die. If you want to face Samoa Joe, you're going to have to go through that man right there. That's exactly what the Elimination Chamber match night is all about. The following contest is scheduled for one ball, and it is for the Double X Championship. On her way to the ring, from Miami, Florida, Laura Hardy. I guess Laura Hardy. Finally arrived here into the arena, and I wouldn't be surprised. She probably has absolutely no idea what happened with between Coco and that mysterious lady in, in red. But I wouldn't even push. I mean, I wouldn't even put anything past so hard. We, I, mean, I mean, there's absolutely no way that anyone could possibly think that Laura Hardy didn't have anything to do. With I mean, Laura Hardy is it telling everybody that the Double X Championship is her property? She wants to make us think that she had nothing to do with the fact that some unknown assailant attacked Coco backstage? What a bunch of BS. Speaking of 
quite the injury to the wounds that Pukumir sustained earlier tonight. I promise you this, I think going to hold back on this more hard time, because I always want to retain the World Championship, but she wants to have her revenge on more party after what she did to her back in Pandemonium. That was absolutely disgusting yesterday. On her way to the world, she is the current double S champion from Arlington, Virginia, Coco! Pandemonium. I mean, you, you saw the worst display I've probably fucking ever seen. Laura Hardy. Of course, we don't know, we don't know really for really sure how Laura Hardy got her well for that, but that's not, that's, that's not important. The fact is, she fired a couple of crooked cops to come out here and actually and actually apprehend and arrest Coco and send her into a local prison. We supposedly, they arrested her for stealing that title right there, the Double Championship, which we all know is not true. Because she won it by beating Mickey James fair and square. And then those cops forced her away into prison. Well, that was just absolutely... That was absolutely un... The most unclassy thing I've ever seen. Coco with just total control and that's for Wait a minute, Lord Hardy turns it around with the DDT. Wait a minute, cover here. Couldn't be over early. Come on, look. The audacity of Lord Hardy. The ego, the uh, I don't know what to begin with, Laura Hardy. I mean, she just thinks of simple, simple textbook wrestling maneuvers is gonna actually gonna keep Coco down for a three count, even though she's injured a little bit. I don't really think that's gonna be enough. At I think Laura Hardy is just gonna easily just you know overestimate Coco here tonight. Coco turning around here, applying the pressure. Well, Hardy cannot reach the ropes, and somehow, for some reason, Coco let go of it. Running knee. Drop. Work on Rohan on the ground here, now he's kicking her off. And despite Coco's injury, she's not really showing any signs of slowing down, she's not showing any signs of fatigue. She's not favoring any parts of her body for injuries. So it looks like she's somehow either, she's either, she is a quick healer, or she's just trying to ignore the pain. Trying to do her best to beat Laura Hardy here tonight. Laura Hardy choking out Coco at a few moments ago. And this with that back elbow. And she's hung up on the ropes here. Coco's got her. This just strikes. Just pounding her into the ground. Look at this. This total mauling is mounting her. Now she turns her over. Rear naked choke. Rope break. Coco blocking everything Laura Hardy has to offer, and again with this turning around DDT. Of all the double X's on the UWA roster, by far no one has more heart, no one has more determination than Coco. And believe me, it's gonna take, even though Coco is battered and bruised, and no matter how much Laura Hardy is going to kick Coco while she's down in this match, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think this is gonna take a normal finishing move. Or, or a cheap shot to beat Coco here. That's going to take something more from Laura Hardy to beat Coco. A kick out. Like, obviously, Coco in like, the whole world knows that she's not going to be able to compete twice tonight for both the Bucks Championship and the Women's Championship. So she's going to make the most of this opportunity. She's going to make the most of, out of what she has. Of course, I mean, we all know she's been working so hard for us a few months to try to win back the most Championship. Now she finally has it. He's not going to go down that easily. I promise you that. Coco with a nice pal driver there. Cover! This be it. Hard. Somehow find the willpower to kick out. Coco very surprising in getting more of the offense here so far in this match. Wait a minute. Bring elbow with a bulldog. What a thing my lower heart. Got that. Trish is pompous, arrogant, and annoying as hell. She definitely has what it takes to be a, U a UWA double X. She's definitely one of the more talented double X's on the roster. After all, she's w she is a UWA which She's been here since day one. She's quite the veteran. And believe me, she's far from a WWE diva. That's for damn sure. Coco kicked to the outside. Ohari now going to work on her. She's up on the apron here. I mean, believe me. If, if, if a diva like Kelly Kelly or... 
Who else do they have on the roster? Um, Maurice or something like that. You know, if, if they took if they took a beating like Coco did, they probably would be on the injured list for a year. Wrap up the five count rock dog. They can't do the things that these doubles can do. They can't take the punishment and pain that these doubles can do. So obviously anyone who who watches WWE and UWA, I can't think of any person who thinks the divas make better wrestlers than the double because I'm not just saying that because I'm biased, I'm saying that because that's true. They're taking a little hard to the ground here. Prime position here up top. Coco. I risk elbow. Square the score right between the eyes here. Cover. Barely. 